This is the last sewing exercise for the certification test. It's a curved seam. You're looking at the two pattern pieces we cut out earlier. We have the top piece, which is the pie-shaped piece. It has a convex curve at the bottom. And we have the band piece at the bottom with a concave curve. We'll be putting those two curved pieces together and we'll be sewing them. Let me show you the finished piece. Here is the piece finished with the band on it, the half inch seam allowance that you can see is visible, and it's sewn, you can see it at the back. Because these two pattern pieces are dissimilar, which means that the band piece is a lot shorter than the pie piece, we're going to need to put them together carefully and we're going to be stretching the pattern pieces out so that one can fit into the other appropriately. Here are the two pattern pieces the way you'll be sewing them. The band is at the top and as you can see the raw edge is kind of shooting off to the right there. That's the correct way to, to line this up. You can see that the other curve is going in the opposite direction. But what we have done is I have matched them up at the top here so that the two raw edges are together. When we go to sew these pieces, we're going to be sewing just a little bit and we're going to be stopping and pivoting in order to keep those edges, raw edges matched. Now we are ready to sew and you can see I've matched my raw edges up at the top and I'm going to be able to sew just a little bit at a half inch seam allowance. I'm going to be able to sew about an inch or an inch and a half and then I'm going to have to stop. Don't forget to back stitch. And I'm going to sew about an inch down. And because my raw edges are not matching appropriately, I'm going to need to stop and pivot. Put the needle in the machine and you're going to take your raw edges and you're going to stop and match them. You're going to have to straighten out your fabric just a little bit. Put your pressure foot down and continue to sew. This is the right method for putting these two pattern pieces together. Make sure you maintain your half inch seam allowance and that your raw edges are always matching. By stopping, needle in the machine, in the fabric, matching your raw edges, straightening out your fabric, and continuing. You can only really sew about an inch, inch and a half, maybe two, before you're going to have to stop and pivot again. Stop and pivot with the needle in the machine. Here. Match your fabric again. About a third of the way in, which is about where I am right now, I'm going to need to start to stretch my fabric out just a little bit. I'm going to be able to use the fabric and I'm going to use the direction of the fabric and I'm going to stretch it. So stretch it out just a little bit. Make sure you're matching your half inch seam allowance and sew. Stop and pivot. Match your raw edges together. What I'm doing is I'm taking advantage of the center of that band, which has a bias. You can see that it looks like a bias because the threads look like they're going on the diagonal there. That's important. That has the most amount of stretch um, at this point. So at this point in the center of your sample, you're going to need to stretch that band out so that the uh, edges will match when you're finished. Stop and pivot, needle in. Match my raw edges again. Show your fabric's all nice and straight and continue to sew. If you, get to leave, if you forget to leave the machine needle in, it's okay, just be careful.
Again, half inch seam allowance. This is the hardest part of the test. Now when you get towards the end, you're going to be taking a look and seeing what, how much is left because you're going to want to make sure that your edges of your pattern pieces are matching at the very bottom. So that's what I'm doing now. I'm making sure that my raw edges of my pattern pieces are going to match. And you can see that they're not. What's happening there is the fact that I did not stretch the fabric enough so that the raw edges are going to match there. So now I have to overcompensate just a little bit in order for that to go in correctly. Match my raw edges and I'm, now I'm going to continue to stitch all the way to the end at my half inch seam allowance. Don't forget to back stitch, pull your work out of the machine and clip your threads. So here is the finished piece. You can see that my um, band is, is, not, is set in nicely. We're going to press it so that the seam allowance is facing the band. And both of my pattern pieces fit in perfectly. Don't forget to clip those threads. After you're done with this, I'll show you how to press it out so that you, don't, you have a really nice crease. That is the last exercise I'm going to show you today. We do have another um, exercise, which is showing you the overlock. But I have a self-tutorial for that, and I want to make sure that I show you how that's done. You're going to teach yourself, and then you will be able to thread the overlock on your own. That is it for the sewing exercises. Good luck.